USDA said in its acreage report that farmers planted million acres of soybeans and million acres of corn. That compares to soybean acreage of million and corn acreage of million in 2017. Corn and soybean futures rallied to session highs after the report was released but quickly paired gains. You have to ask yourself, with corn being down 47 cents for the month, and beans down dollar, do the bears want to push those prices even further down on this news, said Matt Connolly, grain and energy analyst with Hightower Report. I don't think so. Corn and soy acreage both rose from the USDA's planting intentions report, issued at the end of March. Corn acreage came in million higher than the March forecast, its biggest positive change between the two reports since 2012. On the stocks front, domestic soybean supply stood at billion bushels as of June 1, topping the record of billion set in 2007. Soybean usage was the highest ever for the quarter at 888 million bushels, but stocks remained high due to last year's bumper harvest. The USDA's quarterly stocks report also showed the domestic corn stockpile at billion bushels, the largest June figure since billion bushels in 1988 and the third highest ever. Corn usage rose to a record billion bushels during the quarter, up from billion bushels a year ago. Analysts had forecast corn stocks at billion bushels and soybean stocks at billion bushels, based on the average of estimates. USDA also pegged total wheat acreage at million, up from million a year earlier. That topped analysts' estimates which ranged from million to million acres. Wheat stocks as of June 1 stood at billion bushels, in line with estimates.